Easton Jewett, Chris Chavez. Uh, first off, both you guys sophomores, uh, second year varsity starters. And what does it mean to, to contribute so heavily to, to this team as sophomores, uh, the playoff run that you've already accomplished, making it to the regional quarterfinals? Uh, it feels great doing this and making it to the playoffs with this team that we've had a bond for over a year ago. Our season got cut short last year. But this year, we made a statement and we made our playoffs and we're the round three. That's, that's our plan going forward. Can you kind of put into words what this means? Being a sophomore, you know, contributing, uh, you know, prestigious program here at Carroll, contributing, you know, at, you know, even as a sophomore to helping them to make the regional court Oh, yeah, it means a lot. Like Chris said, the season got cut short last year. We thought we had a good team but uh, last year, but next season got cut. And now this year, with the 0-6 start, and then we had to come back, and we, we put a statement out there that we that we're a good team, and we're able to make it to the playoffs. And we're making a good run out here, and that's about it. Um, Chris, you've had hits in seven of your last past eight games. You were at Rio Grande City with multi-hit games. You kind of feel you're raking at the plate right now. You really, since that fall bluff game, particularly, you've really been you know hitting the heck out of the baseball. You feel really good right now. Yeah, just keep a simple approach. See the ball out of his hand. Just simple bat to bat through the zone and stuff. It's just. He's just having fun out there, staying hot with the bat. Uh, Easton, you drove in the game-winning RBI game one the other day here at Cabinets. Uh, scored one of the two runs in game two. How great was that to be a part of, uh, you know, that sweep in the area run? It was pretty fun. It was just having to, at the plate, it was just having a simple approach out there, not trying to do too much. And with the simple approach, I got the game-winning RBI the first game. Uh, Coach was saying you also made some tremendous defensive plays on that tight game. You know, uh, I guess, how much did you kind of feel you had to step it up? It was a close game. Every play counted in the field. Yeah, the second game, it was a two. We only had a two-run lead. And then with the Knicks' perfect game, we were just trying to step it up and keep that perfect game going. Um, flashing back to that foul bluff game, you had a double, a triple. You would have went off at the plate in particular in that game. A must-win game for you guys. You know, what did that mean for you? Uh, how great a feeling was that? Uh, just having one of those type of games, you know, when you all needed it. Man, it was one of the best feelings out there. You go up to the plate, you just have this approach to the zone, and your barrel is hot, and you know you're going to get a hit. You just want to be able to play and have a good team to stick to. Uh, flashing back to that Victoria West game, same situation, must win game. You'll have to win. You have a great game, two hits, one on the guy. What was that like to be a part of? Can you kind of put into words? Uh, I know it's been a little bit ways, ba ways back, but uh, just, you know, basically it was a playoff game before the playoffs, and you, you played well. Yes, sir. It was, just, it was just having fun out there. Not trying to do too much like always. 